sitting on the corner, like I told you, Christmas Eve. And then on Christmas Day, I don't talk about this much. I hardly ever in a public service talk about what I do on Christmas Day because it's even more personal than Christmas Eve. I go see the man who picked me up off the street. Most of you know the story. I sat on that street corner for three days. All the people drove by. All the people walked by. You know how many people stopped? Just one. Because it's always one. He gets out of his truck. He walks across the street. And he asked me one question. He said, are you okay? I hadn't eaten for three days. And I stuttered. I tried to tell him my mother was gone. She didn't come back. He got his wife. She brought me some food. He made some phone calls. And five hours later, five hours, from that initial point of contact, I am now in a church van on my way to a Christian camp where I heard the story of Jesus for the first time. You know how much it cost him? This was in 1961. You know how much it cost him? $17.50. I am the pastor of the largest Sunday school in the world. Get to do all the stuff I do. I'm here with you guys today. You know why? Because one man who was not a preacher, not a pastor, not an evangelist, picked up one little boy that nobody wanted paid $17.50 to pay my way to that camp. I guess if you can't be a king, I guess if you can't be the pastor, I guess if you can't be on television, I guess if you can't write books, that's okay. You don't have to. But you can be a kingmaker. And I sat with him Christmas. He's old now. He's got cancer. I don't know if I'll see him again. But I sit with him Christmas Day. Most of the time, we don't even say anything. We just sit. I make sure his bills are paid. I make sure he's taken care of. Because I owe him. No. Yes, I do. I owe him. Why do you think we need to reach every kid? Why do you think, whether I'm sick, whether I've got a broken leg, whether I've been shot in the head, it doesn't matter. Why do I keep doing this, folks? Do you get it? Because if you can get a kid into the presence of God one time, that's all it takes. That's all it takes.